This month's lesson goes out to the students at Bridge to Enter Advanced Mathematics, who anchor Math Counts teams in New York City and Los Angeles. Now we're wrapping up this year with one of my favorite problems on the whole contest. In this problem, Andy starts off with an 8 centimeter cube, paints all its faces completely red, and then he slices that cube up into a bunch of little unit cubes. Each of those little cubes has side length one centimeter. Then he grabs one of these little unit cubes at random and he rolls it. And he finds out that the face that's sitting there on the table of the cube that he rolled is unpainted. We need to find the probability that all the faces of the cube that Andy rolled are unpainted. Now usually in a probability problem like this, we count up the number of desired outcomes and then we divide that by the number of possible outcomes. It's very important when we're doing this that those outcomes we're talking about, that they're equally likely. Now what are the equally likely outcomes we're talking about in this problem? Well, it looks like it's the unit cubes themselves. When Andy reaches in and grabs one of these unit cubes at random, well, it's equally likely that he chooses any one of these cubes. But then he rolls it, and we get some more information. There's an unpainted face sitting there on the table. And that, that information tells us something about the cube that he actually chose. And it tells us that all these unit cubes we started with no longer equally likely to have been the one that Andy actually chose. Uh, you might not buy that, right? I didn't buy that when I first started seeing problems like this either. How does getting that information change the fact, change what we know about which cube was possibly chosen? Well, I want you to imagine something a little bit different. Instead of being told that it's an unpainted face that's sitting there on the table, Imagine they told us that it's a painted face sitting there on the table. Then, what is the probability we have one of these completely unpainted cubes? Yeah, that's right, then the probability is zero. If we knew that face were painted, then we'd know for sure he didn't grab one of these unpainted cubes. We'd know for sure that all of the unit cubes are no longer equally likely to have been the one that he chose. So here, this information, this unpainted face, gives us information about which cube he chose. Now, if you don't buy that, let's take another way to think about this. From the very beginning, he reaches in, grabs a cube, rolls it, and there's a face sitting on the table. Well, all the faces of all the unit cubes, they're all equally likely to be the one that's sitting on that table. But then we find out unpainted face right there sitting on the table, so we have to eliminate all the cases where it's a painted face sitting on the table. And when we're eliminating all those painted face sitting on the table cases, well, all we're eliminating is cases where we've chosen a cube from the outside of the cube. We're not eliminating any of the cases where we're choosing one of these interior all unpainted cubes. This unpainted face thing here, those are the only cases that are left. All the cases that are left are unpainted face sitting there on the table and they're all equally likely. These unpainted faces, those are our equally likely outcomes. That's what we're gonna count. And we're gonna start off here with the desired outcomes. The desired unpainted faces are the ones on all those interior cubes, all those little unit cubes with no faces painted. And we find all those interior cubes by removing the outside faces of that eight inch cube. You remove that outer layer, you're left with a six inch cube. So there are six cubed unit cubes in the interior that have no painted faces. Each of those six cubes, six cubed cubes, has six unpainted faces. So our desired outcomes, the number of unpainted faces that are sitting on that table that come from one of these completely unpainted cubes is six times six cubed. Now, for all the possible unit cubes. I'll always say, okay, well, we start off all the possible unit cubes is all of them, all eight cubed unit cubes. And each of those unit cubes has six faces. 
So in all of our unit cubes that we started with at the very beginning, we have eight cube unit cubes, each one has six faces, but then we need to take away all the painted faces. Because what we're counting here again is the unpainted faces on all the unit cubes. We're going to take away the painted faces. And those are the ones on the outside of the original 8 inch cube. Each one of these faces of the original 8 inch cube has eight squared little faces, little faces of the unit cubes. And they're painted. And there are six six of these faces of the original 8-inch cube. So now we just simplify this and we get our answer. Now we could multiply all this out, but I'm going to be a little tricky here. I'm first going to knock out a factor of 6, and then well, I see a factor of 8 in all this because I've got three 2's up there in that 6 cubed. I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 8, and let's see, that'll leave me with 3 cubed on the top, and on the bottom I'll have 8 squared minus 8. And we calculate all that. 3 cubed gives us 27. And then 8 squared minus a pretty messy 8 gives us 56. And our probability is 27 56. And if you want to try out more problems like this, go look up conditional probability.